two dogs that one's in a little bit of trouble. He's on Monday's Youth List, that gorgeous Brindle Connie Corso right there. That is Cecil. He's 181-5796. He is a six-year-old, I tell you he's got a lot of pep in his step, six-year-old, uh, unneutered male. Is he neutered or not? Actually, Mike, sure. reach down there. He was adopted. Oh, that's right. You know what? Because here's a crazy story. So he, he was adopted blindly. The person might have been blind or he's not blind. What happened was they because he's in the eval building, they uh, did not allow the adopter to see this dog uh, before they adopted. So the person realized after they probably walked the dog up to their car, oh, my God. Connie Corso, I thought it was going to be like a chihuahua size. They returned within an hour. So uh, this guy got returned, not his fault, nothing to do with him. They were just uh, not aware of how big he was going to be. He came in as a stray originally. He's 93 pounds. That would qualify as one of the largest dogs here. And again, he's heartworm positive, which means he's got those pesky heartworms. Those are easy to fix. He's so worth it. He is so friendly. He's been such a great guest outside. I want him to meet this beautiful German Shepherd female right here. And uh, both of them could care less. Let's help me this. They're both each other's own, could care less. There's another dog right here. I saw her in e and I was worried about her because she was very scared, peeled to the back of the kennel door, uh, wall. No aggression whatsoever. Are oh, you got a little sneezy going on, baby? Yeah. She's 1816191. She's eight years old. So we got like senior center here. Uh, purebred, uh, unspayed female. She is microchipped. So what's going to happen is she's got that long uh, available date from 420 to 427 to allow the registered owner of the microchip to be contacted and decide whether they want to come back, whether they can even find them and whether they want to take her back or not. But I'm worried they're not going to be either found or come back. So we're going to have to start marketing her and make sure she gets to a good German Shepherd rescue. She's 50 pounds. She's also high heartworm positive. But you can see that I believe look at this. We knew even going together. Look at this. Could care less. Two dogs in each other's space, two big dogs. They don't even notice that they're with another dog right here. Hi, baby girl. You okay? I'll walk on this side. Because we saw outside how both of them responded to the dog to the other kennel. Look at them. I love how dogs are pranced together. Wow. He's a strong guy. That's your, I mean, that's, that's 90, 93 pounds pulling you. A pure muscle. Look at her. We just hang out here together. I think he doesn't have a care in the world. <laughs> this dude is awesome, man. This is Cecil. Cecil's, we're not letting him get put down. This is a great guy. I know, hi Cecil. He's a great guy. She's lovely. She starts to warm up to you and comes up to you and seeks affection. Are you giving him kisses? Yeah. They come together. I, will, I make this promise. I'll give you six months of dog food if you take both these dogs together. How you like that? <laughs> That's a guarantee. You're not going to find it anywhere else. Six months of dog food, you take these two dogs together and you got to keep them together. All right, Cecil and our beautiful girl will give her a name. They need some help. Okay.